I will not waste any time. I will go straight to Mr. Bank. He's one of the positive people I've ever engaged with. Um, he's actually a multimillionaire without him wanting me to say that at a very, very young age. So allow me to hand over to Mr. Banks um, to talk to us about the role the public can play um, in reducing dependency because I think he also played that part too. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Banks. Well, that's a good introduction, yeah? That it feels like it's not me. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I like what Dr. Mimi was saying. I was touched. I think it was powerful. Uh, we must be the change, like what Gandhi said. We must become a solution. Uh, we, must, we must play our part to the economy. And uh, I respect, totally respect, and to the education you've acquired. It's a representation of hope for, for us and where we're coming from. Um, thank you. Thank you. I was inspired. I, at some point, I felt like I don't have to speak anymore. Uh, you spoke, you took words out of my mouth as well. So, uh, But me, I won't take long. I don't have that uh, strong information like the doctor, uh, Dr. Mimi. Uh, I just have minimum information. I hope I touch somebody. I'm here to talk about how we build analytics advertising and how we were independent from the government and how you can be able to actually make it from what a doctor was saying about being independent from the government and create something out of nothing, looking at the community around you. I graduated University of Pretoria in statistics and I'm one of the kids who benefited from government in NESPAS. So I don't know if government was not involved and do play a part, especially for us who are coming from the uh, from the bottom, from nothing, uh, we, we didn't have really uh, positive people around us to give us a bigger picture. Um, so I'm thankful for what the government did for me. And uh, graduating, being dependent anymore, I started applying for a job. So 2013, I'm working, um, starting a job as a data analyst in MassMart. Uh, 2014, um, I'm lecturing at Dublin. 2015, I'm back at Pick and Pay Incorporate. I'm, I'm very good in analytics. Data science has been my passion. So I've been always, uh, always coming back to analytics. So 2015, 16, 17, Beginning of 2017, I've been doing business analytics for large corporations. Before I decided to quit, before I, before I quit in 2017, I started a first business with my university friends. I think we didn't have enough knowledge, but we had ambition, so it didn't really work out. But the model was good. It's just didn't have the drive to go long term to handle pressure, I think. Um, so I can't say it failed really, but um, I just decided to not continue with that, with those type of people. There are people who can have knowledge, but not be able to apply what they know. Speaking things and doing something is different. So I, I learned that early as I was starting this entrepreneur journey. And um, when I started my second company with my cousin, who is now doing very well in media, I realized that media is not me. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the, I was also interested to do arts and culture when she was, was arts and culture when she was starting. Um, I met a lot of um, people who were not stars that I helped them through my my analytic skills, like the Moon Charles, the Funny Show. Some of these personal brands were really powerful. I helped them through my knowledge before 2017, like 2015, 16, 17. I was doing a lot of media stuff. That's when I found myself in 2016. And I was like, I need to find a combination of what I'm doing in analytics. And I didn't want to call it media, but I call it advertising. But the idea was to bring a consulting company between brands and data. That's where the opportunity I saw in. 2017, quit corporate. I'm already married. I'm very young. I was like uh, 20. Um, yeah, so 2017 was a rough, I had some money. So I think uh, you can save so much and think that business is money, you need to save and do it. It's not, business is not even money, to be honest. It's just your knowledge and connect and like relationships and mostly and, and some, it's mostly more personal, personal development and money. 
manic follow solution. So I think when I started 2017, we had saved up about 1.2 million uh, with You know ourselves growing we started seeing ourselves growing like a normal small business like a normal small business that's generating um, good money i can say about i don't know if i'm allowed to say numbers but yeah we, just to give you a perspective 2019 we're making 500,000 a month and and we are connecting there and there we are a team of six seven eight we are coming um uh, and then yeah, the whole 2017 was a good year, but we were living on budget. It was like we we trying to force it to get to another level. 2020, COVID hit. Uh, the office we were using shut down. So that first month of April, I'm operating from home with the team. Three of the guys are not really performing. Like uh, when I call them, it's like, no, man, I'm coming from gym at 10 a.m. So they're not really committed. Um, I just realized that I need to restructure the company to what it should be. And although we were already known in the market, I'm, like analytics advertising already was recognized. But when COVID happened, that's when I was working from the garage in my house. And I just said, we need to now do it right. We need to do it right. So we became strictly a data science company from May 2020 last year. We started doing data science architecture. We started employing more engineers to do data science work, architecture work, and development. So 2020, May to September, we are turning over 2 million by the end of September monthly. And we are doing everything right. We, we have outsourced a company that does accounting, so they do our books. We, we are just coming in. And because we are coming in as young individuals who are doing very well, word of mouth is speaking around, and everyone is just talking about us. And also the, in LinkedIn, also the uh, uh, our communication started to expand so bad that we, we just couldn't help it. So the growth was every month. So how I mean growth is, if I sign a large corporation that pays us 500K and I sign another one, it means we make a million with two clients. And that was 20, 20, 2020. But from September, from September last year to, to January, we, we scored some big accounts like uh, PPC Africa, we do data science work. We do, we've developed one of the platform called Show Rewards for them. They are our main client and they, they, they give us good money monthly. And so generally we decided we need our own office. So we've got a um, nice office here. I'm actually here, I'm here nine to nine, 24 seven, like I'm here. 
So we decided to move to get an office. So we moved here. Um, in, in, uh, we moved here this year in January, and it's a 240 square meter office. We are a team of 20. Um, we have we are we are currently interviewing. We're expecting six more people by the end of September. End of end of August, we should have at least finished with the interview. So I don't know how they will be placed, but by end of September, we should have six more people in the company. So we're projecting that at the end of this year, we should have 40 people. Reason why is this year, as soon as we move to the 240 square meter in, in, uh, in February, we were already having TransUnion, PPC, uh, St. Gobain, Adapt IT. Now we're waiting for all mutual. These accounts are huge accounts. I just can't say how much we're turning over monthly, but we're doing so well that we represent Black excellence. And um, what can I say? We didn't depend so much on, on anything else. We didn't depend on funding. We just did, we failed so much, but we depended on solving the problem. Um, where we are now, it's a representation of hope that you can come from that nest for us. And you can come from that nothing. And you can actually think of what you can do with what you have. And you can create it. Over time, it gets better. You only have to be right once. What I've learned is um, we. the main important thing is, apart from education, let's put education aside. Let's assume we don't have education. The most important thing is to be self-aware. Have that self-awareness. Who am I? You know. Now, because I study statistics, so I'm good with this actuarial stuff and calculus, it shouldn't measure my intelligence. It shouldn't limit me. Um, because when I left corporate in 2017, my mother didn't speak to me for six months. She's like, this guy is stupid. My brother's a CA, so he's busy telling her that I don't know what's going on in his mind. So we also have a community of people around us who don't really believe in us. And the, the, that self-awareness will help you, sustain you, when you want to follow a journey that nobody understands. Um, of, of course, it shouldn't be, it should, it should, you, should, you should come, you should have that knowing that this is for you. So that self-awareness brings that understanding that this is where I belong to. So um, for a long time, I've been in classes, even when I was at tax, I was not a top student, I was a C student, but I've been competing in an environment that was not for me. And I tried my best. I think that being a C student, B student was better for me because that's not my environment. But I'm a creative, I'm a visionary. I tell you things and they happen. Now we are projecting to make 30 million a month in the next four months. And, and this is already happening with the clients we already have. We're just scaling up, selling up, cross-selling. Um, I'm just like, we, we, we are a representation that Whoever you are, if you find yourself that you can be a, you want to be a garbage collector, that model can work. You want to be, a, a, you want to own a saloon, that model can work. You just multiply. It. You want to sell trees, you want to sell glasses, anything can work. You want to be a cleaner, that model can work as well. Anything works. Anything can make you money. But we need to do things that we are passionate about. I, when I was still working before I quit. I used to go to, when I was in AutoZone, I used to report to the CEO of AutoZone. I was going very fast in this corporate. So I would do work for three hours and the next thing I'm focusing on my uh, outside work thing. So you realize that I'm not, a, I'm not a best person for that job because I'm not effective. I'm doing this and when I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something else. It's because the passion was no longer there. So if you are doing something that you're not passionate about, it limits your productivity limits your outcome. You will always be in environments where people are always number one and you're always a tail. You know, I, I can say that when I was in corporate, if you could count people who are smarter, you would count all of them and put me in the last, not because I'm stupid, it's because there's a top achievers, top achievers. And these guys are vision maintainers. If I didn't find myself that I'm a visionary, I wouldn't have survived in that environment. If they had to re retrench people, they might even start with me. Not because I'm stupid, but in the team that I'm in of these data scientist boys and all of that, these guys are higher achievers and I am not looking like I'm, I'm in their level. But in the company that I've built today, the guys that I used to work with, I can pay them and I can, I can give them a job that is better than what they, they are working right now. 
I, I can give them B clients. They can work internationally and across Africa with clients that we're working with. We only have like five B clients, but they are across Africa and UK and America, and we are running it. So I'm looking at this like, this is, this is that dream of uh, somebody who's coming from the bottom, believing in themselves that they can make something. So in my communication, I want to say, find yourself, uh, put yourself in the position that represents you, start building, be patient. You're gonna fail. I stopped in highways without petrol. Not that I was not aware, I'm very much aware of what's going on around me, but I was hoping that that petrol will reach me home. You know, so if you are going to give up because you don't have food or you don't have these, you're not ready for, for, for what it is. I, I remember like, I, my wife was working at APSA but before she joined us full time in January this year. And um, you can see she's a data scientist as well. So uh, when she, the people she was working with, I remember 2019, one of the guys was, she told me that one of the guys was asking, what does your husband do? What is that boy doing? I mean, it looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. And it was like a group of them that they went to university together. So they were laughing, this guy, what he's doing. So you will have that energy of people who don't know what you're trying to do. If you're gonna let the outside noise stop you, you can't create. But I never really, never affected me because I knew that at that time, 2019, we were already taking off. I could see my financial statements. I could see what we are doing. It was just not hitting yet. Our model worked in 2020 perfectly because 2020 we just started moving up hyperbolically, and now we we are we are no longer a small business. We are an emerging company, and in the next year, we are a large corporation. Because how do you determine a large corporation? We are that. If, it, if it's determined by the number of staff in the company, if it's determined by the monthly turnover, if it's determined by the efficiency, the excellence, the paying people, we're gonna be part of that. So I'm also part of the top 10 uh, entrepreneurs 2021, uh, proved by Accenture. Uh, right currently I'm top 10, uh, but they're gonna announce top five. Uh, top five entrepreneurs of the year, 2021. I'm going to be top one, top five. And as soon as I'm top five, based on my model, I'm running a data science company. Uh, this is this is this was foretelling. This was for today. This model was for the modern day. It's not like a production company or a psychology or a civil engineering. This is a model that works today. So I'm a pioneer of what we are doing now. So when it comes to them analyzing a business solution, I believe I'm going to be top one in the rising star Accenture. And I'm looking at it like. All these things are happening, but we never had funding. We never depended on government. We don't even have a single tender. We never, we, but we have all the process in place. Everyone have UIF, we have Quader, we have, we're paying VAT, you know, and everything can be done. I just feel like we need to bring back excellence. We, we are so much talented and smart, but we don't believe that we can create it ourselves. We always depend on coming generation. Let's start, let's stop thinking hands to mouth, create long term longevity models that will sustain our kids and our grandkids and our Okay, so um, I think uh, she might not be here now. So uh, for those who might have questions for me and for Dr. Mimi, I think we can start raising questions and um, going through. It. I'll be I'm here for for to answer my part. Thank you so much. <laughs> I like the fact that you're already filling in for me. I really 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 appreciate. <laughs> well, I'm you blown see, away. See. I am. I always get blown away every time you. Um, you present your, yeah, your life, your company, and yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, you. Let me say Thank to the so participants or the invitees, the floor is yours. I think I've got a lot of of things to say. Um, one of the issues that I would like Mr. Banks to 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 talk to um, is in the in the in the in the in the same 
breath that um, the doctor said we should be able to make a difference in our community. Government is are currently struggling with data issues. Government yes. really struggle with um, you know, data that they can be able to use. I know you can be able to tell how customers can make the 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 you know the the company yeah, improve, you know. So yes. I would like you to speak to that and how do you think as as an owner of a data analytics company, how can government and how can we also play a role? And would you consider donating some of your services to government as part of making them yeah. improve? Hundred percent. My only challenge with government, you know how us when we're growing up, it's all about hey, I need tenders and it is. That's how I switch off my mind. But if I'm coming in as a solution provider, definitely hundred percent. So let me give you an example with the company we're working with called PPC Cement. PPC Africa is one of the largest company in cement and in, in construction in Africa. And we are the forefront, we are the brains behind the company. Um, they, I don't know if you, when you go to pick and pay, they ask you for that smart shopper card. I was part of the guys who developed that model in pick and pay. So I understand that model. That's the same model we built for PPC, for example. So the model behind smart shopper, when you walk into the car, when you walk into the counter, they ask you for a smart shopper card, but the smart shopper card have details about a customer. So when I'm looking at it as an enlarged amount of data, I understand the customer patterns. When a customer comes and buys eggs and bread in the morning, they sometimes buy milk. So I see a trend of Tembe Kila and their friends and others within the same bracket or same similar age or similar region doing the same thing. So now when I do the marketing, I'm directing it, directing it to the people that I know already. They are interested to that set. That's it's called market basket analysis. And so I can do market basket. I can do predictive modeling. It's based on the sales that is coming in. I can determine how much or how far can we do more? What else can we give customers? What else can we give people? That's what we're doing with that. So with what we did for PPC, we built a platform. It's an online platform. It's called Show Rewards. So because PPC is a, it's a, it's a, it's a manufacturing company. They don't have a direct relationship with the customer, but they supply their products to Cash Bill, Buco, CTM, and them. So a customer buys a cement from Cash Build and they load the receipts on that platform, either on the app or on the web that we have developed for PPC. And when they load that receipt, it tells us that um, Tembekila from Limpopo, she bought 500 bags of cement from PPC and we give a 150 per bag. I don't know how much is that, but because this model is targeting constructors and, and the WHBO and the other bearers who buy a large amount of, um, of, of cement, in a month time, you can find that PPC is giving away a lot of money. So PPC gives us 1.5 million every month to give out to the customers for rewards, which means we are managing the large corporations money. That's just another money that we're managing, not what they pay us for what we do. So already, that's a model that I can bring to government. It's not customers in this case, but it's, it's general public uh, members of the, <laughs> she calls them members of the parliament and the members of the public. So I've learned that from um, the doctor. So I would bring analytics, a, a model to build to IDs and other stuff. But what we do, we will build a, a data structure, architecture that allows us to understand our people and where most of the higher income earners are found, what are they doing. We'll find most of the things that will give us more data. But once we understand this, let's now start to advise or talk to our people directly and inform our people in other opportunities that they can take. Let's start individually targeting people who are doing something that we can help them grow. Business like mine, my business is a, it never dependent on the government, but we have already 20 employees expecting 26 employees by end of September without any support. And I'm saying that by the end of December, we are 40. So in the next year, I, it's just up to us whether we want to be listed by the end of financial year this year. So if I go and get out, get be listed, I'm, I'm already, we're doing numbers. So, but I'm thinking like, if I had to 
funding when I was starting, I wouldn't have used it well. Uh, I probably would have uh, used that money to do something else, probably because I don't have experience. So government through that system that we would have built or how we would be helping the government, we will now start to target people who have potential to, to build something in farming, to build something in consulting, to build something. And we start empowering them because if we empower them, we are helping more people to get employed. Mm. Um, yes, um, a solution to economic growth is entrepreneurship. So part of what I learned in statistics, I majored in econometrics and some actuarial. So what I picked up was entrepreneurship is the solution to economic growth. The more we empower entrepreneurs and other guys who are trying, we are, we are helping the community and we are reducing dependency. When we increase dependency and we give out more funding and more uh, whatever, we, we, are, we are increasing laziness and we are increasing tax for those who work harder. So uh, how about we come in as data scientists, build systems that helps our government to understand how they can help the community strategically, not just thumb sucking, because that's what we're doing for large corporations. Some of these large corporations, you'll be surprised that they are still doing thumb sucking to do, to do marketing or to talk to the people, to talk to their customer. And, and I look at the large corporations that we work with, like the PPC, the Old Mutual, the TransUnion, um, uh, the, the same government, Adapt IT. I look at all these guys as government because they are very successful and they are huge. They are billion brand companies. So I look at them as a government. So if I'm able to work with such companies and we are helping them increase their turnover, increase their monies, we can definitely come to government, offer our service and strategically help where we understand. Maybe we can start from the economic point of view and we try and help uh, using data somewhere there. Um, absolutely, yeah. I hope I answered um, 